is going on guys this is limitless and today I'm gonna be giving you guys a little update or just a part two video to a video I made a while back about my GPU crashing and just how I fixed it and I've been getting a ton of comments from you guys asking me all sorts of questions about your computer and how basically like this issue came about with me and how I fixed it and I've been trying to help you guys out as much as I can but to basically avoid some additional comments on that video I'm just gonna address a few things because it's been a while since I made that video and I have learned quite a lot about the issue I was having and so yeah let's get right into it so I just want to say right off the bat that the reason why your GPU is most likely crashing is probably because your GPU is too old, meaning it's getting to like a dying point and it's not performing at what it should be. And typically a GPU can last anywhere from like a year to like five years or ten years. Like it could last any amount of time. and essentially it just depends on like how hard you're running your gpu as well like i've had a lot of comments from people saying that they can only run certain games like minecraft or like roblox or something which are games that are like extremely low like processing power to run right like you can run minecraft on like almost anything especially when you have optifine installed with it but when they run like more difficult uh, processing power kind of games like cyberpunk or call of duty or any like graphic intensive game it causes their gpu to just crash and in my case that didn't happen to me but that can also be a sign that your power supply in your computer is actually not giving enough wattage or watts whatever to your gpu or your motherboard and some people i've read in like forums online they said they fixed it by using amd software or using msi afterburner i believe and basically giving more wattage to their gpu and i'm not sure exactly if that's going to help everybody like I said in my case, I had a, a different solution and that solution helped me. But even if none of those things um, really account to you and you're still having issues, the one last solution or alternative to what my first video is, is try to go to like the website where you might have purchased your GPU <clears throat> like in my case I bought my GPU and pretty much all my parts off of Amazon but if you go to like the company that sells it for example if I type in my GPU which is an AMD RX 570 and I type in power color red dragon and this is like the exact um, name that my GPU is. And if I just go to Power Color's website, which is the company that makes the GPU and sells it, more often than not, you're going to be able to find some drivers somewhere along this website. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but usually you can find drivers somewhere. Um, from the website that you probably buy your parts from or that even if like you bought it off Amazon you could just search um, Let's see RX 570 series And as you can see These are the two drivers that it's showing me that I can install and uh, As you can see too, these were released in last year in December and I believe that these versions that they're giving you on the website 
are most likely going to be the most compatible for your GPU, meaning you're gonna have the least amount of crashes because this is coming directly from the website that your GPU was sold and that you bought from. So more likely than not, if my last video didn't help and the drivers that I told you to install for the AMD software didn't work, then I guarantee you that this will work better. And if this does not work, then I would just say that you should just try to replace your GPU if you can. And I know that sucks to say because I know right now that GPUs are extremely expensive and way overpriced. But yeah, unfortunately, this is what AMD is forcing a lot of people to do right now, especially with like the old GPUs that they have. And it does suck really bad. Like if I'm gonna ever upgrade my GPU, which I most likely will, I'm definitely gonna have to go with Nvidia because I've just spent like so much time before in the past trying to get my GPU to work correctly. And thankfully I have it working correctly at this point because I just so happen to download like the correct drivers for the AMD software instead of automatically installing the new AMD software because that seems to cause the most amount of issues for people. But yeah, I'm just pretty disappointed in AMD and how they've just showed like such a huge lack of like their AMD software, especially for their older GPU lineups. So I'm most likely gonna go to Nvidia as soon as I can, as soon as this GPU basically gives out. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the video. Hopefully this um, little update video has helped you guys out a little bit because I know that a lot of you guys have been having issues and haven't been able to fully, you know, get into PC gaming and use your GPU how you would like to. And trust me, I've been there, but hopefully this will help you guys out. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave it down below. And thanks for watching, guys.